Whoa, okay. And we are live. Oh my God. And it's not just me. Yeah, okay. So let's jump right into it. I want to introduce these amazing people. I, this dude got, he on his phone. Like, you, I'm going to come uh, I'm just, situation. I'm just wondering what, like, did he not see me click the button? I'm just wondering if that occurred. I'm sharing the situation. Oh, 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 he working. Go yeah, ahead and work then. I'm with sharing the situation. <laughs> Listen, y'all. Oh, my God. I know this is normally our top five you doing too much moments of the week, but I would be remiss if I didn't give you guys an opportunity uh, opportunity to meet the new host of Saved and the City. Hi. This is Johanna and Pastor Redante. What up, what up? Hi, London. We see you there. Hey, everybody. Um, as you guys are joining, make sure that you share this post, uh, like this post, tag your friends in it. You don't want to miss today. We're going to vibe a little bit and just talk about some of the craziness going on in this world. And then uh, we'll tell you about some updates about Saving the City because I know some of you are wondering, okay, when are you back in the studio? Kind of what's going on? What's next? And so we'll give you some updates maybe towards the end of the show. But these amazing people, I'm telling y'all, I'm, I'm letting y'all into my network. I'm letting you get to know my people. So, Johanna, how are you feeling today? Fantastic. I know this you look. We Wednesday. I mean, really. Weather got me feeling some type of way, but I'm good. You know, I'm we good. we should be used to it by now. We should. But uh. You know what? <laughs> I don't think you ever get used to it. I am born and raised in Milwaukee. A Milwaukee pedigree. Yeah. And I I never get used to. Come it. Come on for the pedigree. Yeah. So this I, is, like I, I like to call I her. Like Lay that. Yeah. I'm going to use that pedigree. <laughs> don't use. See her using pedigree and you using pedigree is a little bit different now. <laughs> so. So, um, I, you know, I call her Lady Duckworth, honey. That's so funny. So, why don't you tell the people, oh, Evan, hey, I see Evan Christensen joined the the uh, uh, live feed. That's, that's, that's superstars. But, Johanna, why don't you tell them a little bit about who you are, what you do, and how you uh, decided to get connected to Save the City. Perfect. So, first of all, let me just say I'm so excited to be um, amongst these Beautiful people here. She's so happy um, to be here. That's more from Eddie Murphy. Right, right. That wasn't. That was good. Okay, so you all are going to get a lot of this um, <laughs> between the three of us. But I'm so excited to be here, and I just want to say I'm so proud of my friend. Aww. We've been friends a long time. Yeah, yeah, we've been knowing each other for quite some time. Yeah. So it's just fantastic to see her in her element, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm grateful to be um, a part of it. Um, I'm Johanna Duckworth. I am a life coach and image consultant. And so I really kind of help people to get their life right in a stylish way. Honey, she styles your whole life. Get your life. Get your life. <laughs> get your life. Yeah, get your life. Um, but, but the thing that makes me different, uh, um, that makes me stand out maybe from others, is that the core of what I do is anchored in Jesus. So, yeah. Um, Shout. Yeah. So, so when I'm getting your life right, you know, you'll get the Holy Ghost on top of it. Yeah. Um, and so anyway. Just I, don't charge an anointing fee. Can I just sidebar real quick? Did you, did you see that? No, no. Let, no, let me tell y'all real quick sidebar, and then we'll get back into your amazing introduction. I'm sorry. Y'all know I interrupt things. <laughs> there was literally, this was from one of our top five you doing too much moments. Mm -hmm. There was a girl. Now, this this is a makeup artist, y'all. Mm. And she uh, she charges, she charged uh, $125. Mm. Listen, mm. Mm -hmm. that was for the makeup. Okay. And then another, another $125 for the anointing. Fee. Oh, my. Mm. She charged for the anointing. She charged to be in her presence. Oh I said, my. now, wait a minute. <laughs> You know, if I can if I can uh, get my soul to Christ for free, I'm not paying three hundred and fifty dollars for you to beat my face. You know, oh and my. so it was absolutely crazy. No. So, uh -huh. what I, you I got so, a whole lot to say about that. Go ahead, go ahead. about that. See, we getting started already. I'm not. I'm not playing. Oh, that's Miss Val, Val. I'm telling y'all, you got to go back and watch the old one. But this woman was dead serious with her anointing free because she said when she touches your face, because you people be going through things. Right, mm. and when she touches you, then you become healed. I mm. said, "You're not Jesus." So, so, so this is what I believe in reference to that. And then I'm gonna bring it right back on okay. and pass the ball to Pastor Redondo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'll, I'll say this: that um, the anointing is housed on the inside of us, you right? Talk about and so it. Um, you do get that when you get me. 
Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you may yeah. not I'm not gonna put it out there on my pricing fee. Not I cannot sale. separate. Ooh, right. It's not yeah. for sale. And not only that, I can't separate it from who I am, right? Right. So I can't show up someplace and the Holy Ghost not come with me, That's right? right? Because right. he's on the inside of me. Yes. And so I believe that um when I am doing my work. Of course, you're going to get mm -hmm. that. But at the same time, you know, we're supposed to draw people Talk by the love it. of God. And yeah. so how, how how is that drawing you? Now, my price is my price. Don't get me wrong. My mm -hmm. price is my price. And then they're coming for makeup. Everybody that's coming to her chair is not necessarily Christian. So you start talking about anointing fee, they don't even know what you're talking about. Right. Absolutely. Call it something else. Call it a processing fee. Call it something else. But an anointing fee, come on. That's <laughs> definitely, come on, say it on three. You doing too you much. You doing too much. I was like, what we saying? <laughs> you doing too oh, much. Oh, she was definitely doing too much. But okay, before we pass it to Pastor, PR is what we're talking about. We'll talk about the PR situation mm -hmm. in a minute too. But before we pass it to uh, to, uh, to PR, what is the name of your company? So, so it's Lifestyle, right? Yes, Lifestyle. So the name of my my overall company is Creative Images and Lifestyled is a brand of Creative Images. And so you'll be hearing the lifestyle part of me Absolutely. Um, as we, as I kind of infuse that into uh, me being on here. I love it. No, I ain't got no anointing feet, but you uh, like my, do you like my shirt? I got to ask Joanna to give me, give yeah. me right. She came in with the bees. Uh, honey and oh, stuff like that. Oh, she was so. I noticed it, and see, that's where she. See, she. That's her. That's her calling. That's her calling. Because I saw it, you know. And so I'm charging anointing fee. She's no anointing fee. She just got out. My little hands got anointed. I ain't get charged no anointing fee. She got out the cream. She she laid hands on the hands, and now he's ready to talk to you. I just want everybody to be right. Yes, yes. I want y'all to be right. Spirit, right. soul, like and body. Oh, there we go. There we go. Shout out to Pastor Bell, but spirit, soul, and body. All right, PR. Okay, okay. Let me say something real quick before we jump to PR. So I call him PR. He <laughs> too funny. <laughs> so funny. But he never said anything about, you know, he just answered to it. I'll be like, oh, PR, da, 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 da. Every now and most of the time I call him Pastor Redante, you know, but I'll say PR. And let me just tell you up front, it was because. It's short for what? Pastor Redante. Makes sense, right? He thought I was calling him PR because he's so good with his public relations. <laughs> because he's so good with his social media. The social media. <laughs> I was like, I was like, well, yeah, exactly. you are. It was good, but it, no, it's your initials, darling. Right, right, your right. initials. Well, I actually like the name PR. So, yeah, so, so we're going to stick you, with you it. You gave me, gave me my, my hey, nickname. Hey, that's his so, nickname, okay, PR. Right, You're going to hold on to that. that. Yeah. I'm going to roll with that. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Sounds good. We, we still got to figure out that. I want to call her Lady Dugworth. She feel like it's a little too much. We're going to figure out what hers is. You, yeah, you know what? You're not the only one. Somebody else calls me Lady like Dugworth. I know exactly what she She calls me Lady Dugworth. <laughs> PR, pastor of the Infinite Church. Yes. Shout out. And Shout out Lady Erica, hey. What up, what up, everybody? I'm excited. First off, I'm just excited to be here with the team. Mm -hmm. Squad goals. <laughs> squad <laughs> goals, squad. right? Yeah, yeah. These I'm excited, goals, I'm excited to be here with the team with uh, with Brandy and Joanna. We're just having a great time. This is kicking off this beginning of, of this season of Saved in the City. A mm -hmm. little bit about myself to those of you that don't know me. Some of you do. Some of you don't. But to those that don't know me, I'm born and raised right here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Being pedigree. Yes. Pedigree. Pedigree. <laughs> you know, I'm out there. Pedigree. Uh, born and raised in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Back in the days, I got to bring y'all up to speed. Back in the days, I did rap music. Hey. Was in the streets. Uh, involved uh, heavily in the hip-hop scene. Um, they, <laughs> you know, uh, Cuckoo Cow, Mr. Do It to Death, Baby Drew, all that kind of stuff. Uh, on the record label dude. back then, uh, along with a few other people. And I was very heavily into the rap music. And at the time, I was not a Christian, was not a believer, uh, did not attend church. And uh, January 7, 2002, I gave my life to Christ. Yeah. Uh, actually, on, my, on the expressway on my way to Memphis. And uh, it was there that wow. I, I uh, went back to school, got my GED, graduated from college, uh, started serving the Lord diligently and all of those kind of things. And uh, just uh, last year, in 2000, the end of 2016, the Lord sent me back to Milwaukee in which we planted uh, the new church, the Infinite Church, right here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And uh, it was at that time that I, I came, became in, uh, engaged and saved in the city. And just to be honest with you, I just started out as a fan. Just being 100% just being yeah, honest like with, with no juice on it, I would just tune in because... Little sugar. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I just tuned in as a fan because I really just dug the fact that she was doing something that, that was really authentic 
and it, it was representing the kingdom, which yeah. was, which, and it was, Absolutely. it was, it was touching into topics that were, were real near and dear to people's mm -hmm. heart. Mm -hmm. And so it instantly, uh, you know, resonated with me and I tuned in and I just became a fan of the show. And eventually, um, I had got a, 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 a right. inbox, an invite to mm -hmm. come on to the show. And I, you know, came on to the show several times. Oh and, yeah. Because and, what mm -hmm. it was, was like, cause pastor PR, he's so <laughs> right about being on social media. And I yeah. love that. That's what a lot of times we say, engage the culture. Yeah. People yeah. ask me, you know, well, how do you get on the show? And you know, why is there certain people? If I see you moving, like I'm reaching out, you know, there are ways okay. to get on with, without me reaching first. But a lot of times I like, I like trains is already going. And so mm -hmm. PR was talking about, um, so tank, the tank uh, it was a tank situation. Yeah. We were talking about the what was it demasculation? Is that what you call no, it of right. the black male? Feminization the of feminization of the black, of the black male, and it was really intense. And I was like, oh, I need to bring you on the show, and that's yeah. what it was. Yeah. And so and so, uh, you know, we just we just uh, you know, it was just great chemistry, the vibe of the show, and um, uh, Brandy, um, you know, it was it was uh, God put it on her heart to invite me back again, Iberia. Yeah. Uh, I'm so <laughs> sorry. Good. I'm so sorry. Facebook I, made but, me come but, off. Right, 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 exactly. Anyway. But but she she invited me back on the yeah, show again time, and yeah. right exactly and and the chemistry was just right and then when the opportunity opened itself uh, where she was uh, choosing new co-hosts for this season um, you know we we talked about it yeah. and everything just lined up and and now we're just excited we're here as you can see we're yeah. just gelling together you yeah. can just get excited and get ready for a tremendous <laughs> season it. of Saved in the City yes. it's going to be absolutely amazing I, I'm so excited about that uh, uh, Nini just said hi to you I don't know hey Nini yeah and so you know we're so excited about even just the doors and the opportunities that are open so right now um, you know we're still doing the, the Facebook live uh, you know during the 12 o'clock hour but as you guys know uh, you can also hear the podcast downloaded now this won't be on the actual podcast because this is just a live video but when we get back into the recording studio, then you'll be able to download new episodes um, uh, from uh, just your podcast app. So whether you have an uh, Apple or Android or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And then also if you're just more interested in listening online, then on Fridays, every Friday at noon, once we get back into the studio, uh, we will be live uh, on uh, WQYLDB. So that's www.wqyldb. So shout out to Elsie Flanard for just, uh, just being a great resource to me over the past year for Saved in the City and into the future. And so, yeah, without further ado... <laughs> Say we get into some top five you doing too much moments because I know right. that. <laughs> so I mean, there's so much that we can talk about, mm -hmm. but I'm just gonna say keep it locked. Um, God has opened doors for us to be able to be on Roku TV. So if you have a Roku stick or a Roku TV, your girl actually you can go there now. You won't see any content, but you will see Saved in the City. That's right. So you can go there now, and then also we'll be on Apple TV. So God is expanding. We're growing. We That's need fantastic. your prayer. And, it, and there ain't no anointing fee. And there There's is gonna no anointing. anointing. But there ain't going to be no anointing. Because <laughs> one thing, one thing that, that you're going to get here at Saved in the City, not only are you going to get hot topics and, yeah. and, and, and things like that, but you're also going to get some prayer. Oh, God, You're yeah. going to definitely get oh, some yeah. word. Oh, yeah, you're always going to leave with a spirit yeah. drop. You're going to get some word. You're going to get some prayer because one thing about <laughs> these two sisters, yeah. and, and I count myself uh, or you know, an honor to be amongst them, is that they're full of the Holy Ghost yeah. and full of the Spirit yeah. of the Lord. So we intend on praying for you and all yeah. of those kind of things as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad you said that, you know, because at the core of it um, is, you know, we, we're, we're just some folk that, that believe God. <laughs> you know, we, we just sold out. We, we believe that he can and he will for us and for you and so in that being said I do want to just throw this out before we jump into the top five you doing too much moments of the mm -hmm. week but that you know in your walk in that place that you're in where maybe God has given you uh, has revealed to you what your next steps are going to be or maybe like Joseph who had the dream he's told he's told you that you're going to achieve a certain goal or you're going to reach a certain endeavor but please know that it comes with a, there's a process. Absolutely. And, and so, there's a price. And the, mm -hmm. ooh, girl. Yeah, but the price no costs. Fee. Yes. But, but it, it ain't no anointing fee. fee. Well, that might be a cost. That's just so funny. But man. Jesus paid it all. That is Hallelujah. So funny, That's what, see, that's why there's a no, no anointing fee, because Jesus already paid it all. Yeah. But, you know, the situation is that even with this, you know, there's, I, I had an idea you know, my and somebody used to say this. Sometimes, you know, you tell God your plans and he'll laugh, you know, yeah. because, and that's when I'm constantly, I'm, I'm always in a place of surrender. Because, say, if you know anything about Saved in the City, 
initially it wasn't supposed to be a radio show. I always wanted to be a TV show. I moved into radio as God led. Then I moved from radio to podcast. So I'm literally allowing God to order my yes. steps. Yes. And today, if I could be very transparent, initially it wasn't going to happen. But I said, if I'm telling y'all that we be, that I believe God, then I better believe God. Okay. And so we made a well through God. God made a way, but it's according to our faith. Yeah. So I just wanted to encourage somebody that may be watching. And sometimes that's what you feel like. Oh, they they got they got all the support. That's how that's how Iberia is able to get out here and do this. Or this is how this is why Pastor Redante has a church because oh yeah he got all these friends. Oh he used to uh, work rock with Cuckoo Cat. You know. People, uh, right, uh, they don't always they, know. They actually, that actually, they actually, it was the, the other way. <laughs> Ooh, no shade, but. <laughs> <laughs> Just being honest. So it's a real thing, yeah. you know, it's a, yeah. it's a real thing. So, yeah, so we, you know, we'll continue on with that. Maybe we'll even figure out maybe a series, you know, mm -hmm. on building, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it this, building your boat. Mm. If you think about it, when you think about Noah. Come on, Noah. You know what I'm saying? And, and he was told that this is what you're supposed to do. And everybody mm -hmm. was looking at him like, you boo-boo the fool. There ain't even no rain in the sky. Yeah, you know, and so true. maybe we'll figure out, you know, how to keep you on track when God tells you something and maybe everything doesn't line up the way you expect. All right? That's right. That's All right, talk about you doing too much moments of the week. <laughs> let's do it. And so let's see if I can even uh, recall, because I was like, let me think of them in the car. I didn't write them down. I didn't super duper prepare. But when uh, we were off camera, we, let's just, I think the first one could definitely be Monique. I'm so tired of talking about Monique. Mm. But we're going to bring her up one more time, mm -hmm. because she literally has won the top five you doing too much moment of the year forget the week because she is i mean she's on she's like on a rant she's on a rampage and I, it's really it's affecting her character uh, to me i mean yeah, I don't, some, she's no credibility sometimes even when i'm, I'm sorry sometimes no, no, even when good. you're uh you know it's not it's not just about being right yeah sometimes Ooh. it's the way that you be right Ooh. and i think that it's not a matter of whether right now whether she's right or wrong I think that she's ruining her brand. Mm, it's gone, uh, baby. I, I'm not. I've been a fan of Monique in the, in the past, and I've uh, you know been a fan of her as an entertainer and comedian and things like that. But right now, it's something about the way that this is being presented mm. that I am not interested in mm. her brand right now, mm. and uh, and maybe she's turning others off. So. I, you know, I'm, again, I'm not saying that Monique is right or wrong, but sometimes it's not a matter of being right or wrong. Sometimes it's a matter of the way that you present things. And I think that she's destroying her brand right now. It, so I'll just... I got so much to say. That's why I'm just like... <laughs> right. And so, so this is an image thing, right? Mm -hmm. And so I think Ooh, that yes. we... Talk about you know, everybody has, everybody has an image. And so whether you believe it or not, you do. You absolutely do. Mm -hmm. And um, I think she's taking advantage of an opportunity. So she's being kind of quiet right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, she has been quiet for a little bit. And mm -hmm. I think she's taking advantage of an opportunity she's and trying to... Where? She has been. Well, before this. Oh, we before here? this, yes. Yeah, where well, we Yeah, when you said right now, so I was like, no, no she no, won't no. shut her mouth up she right now. She was just in the movie, though, John. What she was in that This Is Christmas movie. with This Christmas? Oh, or, you know what? She was just inside of a movie. And again, I'm not saying, I believe, let me just be clear, especially, you know, I want to be clear right now, especially in, in, in lieu of everything that's going on from the Me Too movement and all of these other uh, things that are happening, I believe that women should receive equal pay. Yeah. I believe that women... Monique the, is on the, crack, is that, what I believe. Yeah. Go well, ahead, I'm sorry. Well, you, that well, was really powerful again, what you were saying. But I believe that women deserve equal pay, all yes. right? As a man, if, if a woman does the work, okay, she do deserves do not too. to be undercut or yep. shorted, yep. Uh, you know, the same opportunity and the same resources that, that one would pay a man. So I believe that. But um, I, I'm also such a believer of the movement. When mm -hmm. you talk about social justice and things like that, I personally fight for social justice myself. Uh, I literally, personally boycotted the NFL this year. I didn't even watch the Super Bowl. And I, I know either, to each his I own, but I stood it. with uh, Colin Kaepernick, who was also a frat brother of mine. I, I, I stood with him on that. But um, I don't believe in taking the movement and trying to rally the movement behind your personal uh, mm -hmm. agenda. 
And so when she asks for everybody to boycott Netflix, we're not going to uh, raise the black fist and turn the whole movement on its ear because of your personal bank account. Now, if you're yeah. fighting for baby, if, bye. If you're, if you're fighting sorry. for if you're fighting for a, 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 a group of women, if you and a group of women got together yeah. and said, you know what, this yeah, is yeah. us fighting for. But yeah. but you, where was Monique? When all of these women were were standing up uh, through the women's march, I, I didn't hear Monique. Uh, when, when, when any of the social justice issues were going on, I didn't hear Monique. The only time that I heard Mo about Monique was when she was talking about her personal contract. So, with that said, I just say, dear, you got to go in that in that in that, in that negotiation table uh, in that negotiation like room by else. yourself. Like you know, everybody else. Like yeah. everybody I just else. I just have to jump in um, only because I know a lot. Okay, first of all. Yes, she did come against the whole, you know, men getting paid more, but she also came against women because she came against Amy Schumer mm -hmm. and a few of the, uh, I think Wanda Sykes and a few of the other uh, uh, female comedians. So it'd be, it, it left for, she put the Me Too thing behind her at some point. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. At this point, she's on a, like, just, she's out of control. And then, like you said, you asking people to boycott Netflix. Mm -hmm. This is something that I said in some of my past videos, so we won't stay on this one too long, but people are too invested me, there are so many brothers way too invested in Netflix and chill. Netflix and chill. To boycott. <laughs> wait, wait, no, 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 not just the guys. I'm a Netflix chick right here. Yeah. This one right chick. here is a Netflix chick. And so I'm unless, a Netflix chick. Yeah, really. And so unless they are, you know, really doing something horrific, mm -hmm. you know, if it's a personal thing, like you're saying, if it's a personal thing, it's a personal thing. Work it out, you know, and we live in, and so here's the thing. We live in a society where everybody is so vocal yeah. about mm -hmm. how they feel about something, about what happened and that kind of thing. And so to some degree, she's exercising her what right? Yeah. But right? I'm not to participating. voice her. Right. But we don't have to participate don't in have to that. Participate. Yeah. yeah. It's just <laughs> irritating because now she's fine, do that, but now she's bad mouthing people. She's bad mouth Oprah, Tyler Perry. Mm -hmm. Um really? a, yeah, I mean it's really bad. I haven't heard the latest. Sometimes, sometimes the issue is you. That's what I would oh, say to Monique. That's what that, the, did you see the, that with the white guy? Mm -mm. Oh, he said the same thing. The issue is issue. you. Sometimes the issue is you. And if anything, uh, I would say to Monique that, that uh, you need better uh, representation, better management, your management oh, should actually be child. handling this situation. That's, that's, yeah. that's where the crack part came in. Yeah. And I think, I think that she's hurting. I'm sorry. No, and no, as I right. said before, I, I think that Monique is receiving bad counsel. Mm -hmm. you no, know, the Bible says walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. And I think that she's walking in very ungodly counsel right yeah. now. Yeah, and she needs a PR person. <laughs> right, you know, exactly. She needs her, her PR person, whoever her manager if you is. Watch, they need to pull the reins. Mm -hmm. If you watch the last few videos of her and her husband... It is very Bobby and Whitney. Yeah. It's very Bobby and Whitney vibe. It's very, I'm, it, no, no, I'm not going to say no shade, like all the way shade. It is very much. I'm gonna Bobby you that and Whitney? Bit. Yeah, you know how when they would be yeah. out? Yeah, very cracked out. Really? Yes, well, her see, and her I'm, husband, the way they crying, and it's just too much. Okay, it's a crack cry. Maybe we need to pray. Go ahead. You remember, what, remember when Martin said, calm down, sit down. Y'all ever seen that? Calm, no, no, I didn't know. That's why I'm like, go ahead. I know what you were doing. I did, but I didn't know how to pop up after nothing. You because know. I don't know. I honestly, I honestly want to be fair as well. I don't know if allegedly she, if she's on drugs or not. allegedly. I don't, I don't yeah, know allegedly. that, but but I will just say that <laughs> allegedly. I do know what I do know is that I do know that she's ruining her brand, and so I just wish that the sister, or as she calls everybody, my loves. I wish that the sister would just and then right after um, that she'll call you know, them about get some get some good counsel. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> I wish she would just get some good counsel. Monique, we gonna pray for you. We, we gonna, gonna pray, pray for you. We gonna pray. We talk. Ooh, child, we talk about it. But <laughs> we gonna pray. <laughs> okay, so here's my next one. Now, um, now this one's a little more serious, and I, I am interested in kind of what you guys think about this. Um, so I don't know if you may have gotten an inbox of. A mm. little, and I'm gonna be very. Yeah, yeah. You saw it. I, I, it. I did not. No, 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 I did no, no, not no. press I did not play. See it. Did not see but it. But there was an inbox that was circulating of what it was a little girl, and I could kind of make out that there was some type of um, sexual m molestation happening. Oh. They actually arrested the guy. That's, That's well. what I did here. They hear. just arrested the guy. Yeah. But it was being shared 
so much. And so here's the thing. This is where the art is. So for me, I said the share was doing too much. But, okay, so this is the argument, and i love to hear what you guys think. So the argument is that, number one, yeah, share, because I think, I think the um, heading said uh, share so we can put this disgusting blah, blah, blah guy or whatever in jail. And so that's why people were sharing it of this little girl performing a particular act. And so um, the other side, which is the side that I was on, was like, don't you, you know, it's, it's more damaging to the little girl. Mm -hmm. And then, so I do want to throw another point. I've seen more than just that particular video. I did not press play because I did not want to see. But I've seen other videos of little kids that are are gyrating and that's like, what, what? When are we, we not, where do we draw the line? When is it too much? When do you, you know what I mean? Because a lot of times people share it, they say, oh, you know what? This is terrible. Why would you let your child do this? But it's just continue. It's like perpetuating this video out there. You see what I'm saying? Remember, remember a few years ago, not to veer away from, from, from to bring it back to yeah. that, but a few years ago, there was, there was another situation that happened similar to a, a young girl uh, that was slightly older named Amber Cole. Okay. Uh, many years ago, they, they, they somebody had filmed her basically doing something at school or something mm -hmm. like that. And, you know, I always ask the question, uh, where was the Amber alert for Amber Cole? Mm -hmm. You know, like, mm -hmm. like, you know, like you, you can't, uh, yeah. you can't, you know, when it comes to these kind of situations, I'm, I'm grateful it did not make it to my inbox. And, oh, um, but you, heard, so I you heard about But it? I had, I saw other people okay. speaking of yeah, it, yeah. and I was able to draw. So, so I was already prepared that if it did come to my inbox, that I wouldn't uh, open it or even look at it or anything yeah. like that. Alexis said, uh, by sharing to the police is how that solves solves the problem. Not sharing it to friends, and that's what I'm saying. Exactly. But I guess where the other argument is is that unfortunately a lot of African American youth are not handled with the urgency mm -hmm. that uh, youth of a different persuasion or color are. And so the, we have to take other measures. Right. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, is that... So, I, you know, when it comes to children and social media, um, I, I have a... I'm probably not the average parent. I don't. I don't put my kids on social media. Right. Um, and right. so you know, and, and there's a few reasons for that. But I just feel like we are so um, open with the amount of information we share and how we put our kids, you know, out there. And I know this is a different situation in the sense that, you know, they wanted people to kind of come together to help catch the perpetrator. Um, but I think. You know, you got also got a lot of sick, nasty we do. pedophiles and that are taking these videos, social media, and, yeah, mm -hmm. and, and getting the images and that kind of thing. Blur out the baby faces. So I don't I, know. I mean, I think just I think we're way too open. It. I think just we're don't. way too open as a culture and society with how we put our children out there. And so I know it comes from a lot of times. It comes from an innocent place, like oh, my daughter may or my son did this. They had this accomplishment, or we did this photo. Shoot or what have you, you know, but but we are so open mm -hmm. with sharing, you yeah. know, and then we we'll, and then we have a problem with other people share the picture. And so here's the thing about social media, and we're using it right now. So yeah. you know, no shade to it. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it has a point, but we think it's good when it goes viral and then we become successful and make millions. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. But then the flip side to that is that when it goes viral and it's the negative part, mm. then you so the point is is that you open yourself up for either or. Yeah, right? No, either absolutely. or. So either your child is gonna be this huge star and it's gonna make it to the right hands, right? Mm -hmm. Of some mega producer or some huge yeah. agent or what have you, and, and that'll open up great doors of opportunity. But guess what? The odds of that happening are pretty slim. Yeah, yeah, very slim. And so and so what happens? The flip side of that is that you got a lot of crazy people out oh here my God, yeah. that are trolling the internet looking for, you know, your babies and who knows. Yeah, you know, it's you put, a lot. Oh, you put the school out there, mm -hmm. you know, this oh, is what happened right. at, you know, we're at such and such school. You never know. And I'm, I am not a skeptic, but I'm just saying, you know, we have to be more mm -hmm, careful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, just two things with, the, with that situation is that one, uh, you know, child pornography is a crime. It's a real thing. So you thing. have to think about this. Oh. Here's a here's a good topic. Oh. Here's a good idea. If that video has one million hits on it, mm -hmm. then that means that one million crimes occurred <gasps> towards that young lady, not just the act, mm -hmm. 
but but also even Watching sharing it and it. showing it. Mm -hmm. So that's something that that protect. we can think yeah. about. But then also yeah. uh, just to just to Joanna's point, the baby that, had to be like nine, mm -hmm. seven, eight, uh, somewhere in there. Just to Joanna's point, with people uh, have changed their value systems, and we got to bring back to reality what's actually valuable. So people are, are not even doing things any, even for money anymore. It's like, it's like uh, oh, I have a million views, but they, they don't equate to dollars and cents. Mm -hmm. and, and so uh, a lot of people, like you said, that, that go viral, uh, they, they end up not making money off mm -hmm. of those things. Mm -hmm. They don't make money. They're not millionaires. They're people who went viral that are still working at McDonald's. <laughs> they're still flipping yeah. burgers and so on and so forth. So, but they just, they're... Attention. For the attention, you know, people are lonely. The fame, the fame, junkie, the yeah. fame yeah, junkie. yeah, mm -hmm. and the attention, like you said, that attention and that that sense of feeling connected and feeling like, oh, people value me or value something that I'm sharing, you know. But the thing is, like you said, it viral has no respect of thing, mm -hmm. you know, that whether exactly. that's negative. Oh my God, okay. There we go. there we go. <laughs> whether it's negative or or positive, and so I do want to say though, just so we don't lose the point of that particular topic for the reason bringing it up is that we gotta protect our babies. babies I don't care if you see that those type of videos this is my opinion it does not help to share that like or share or, or if you see it share it with the police or share it with you know some somebody that can change something not just the, a random inbox with potential uh, potentially another pedophile that you know what I mean like you just got to be so careful so in my advice don't share block you there's ways that you can report the videos share it you know like I said to someone that maybe in, in the law that can support or help that but don't just continue to put this child's innocent face out there just mm -hmm. think about what she's gonna have even if they caught the dude like what she has to endure with her endure. face right. being seen by right. millions of people. Right. You know, Think about been, that. With it, been, with it being uh, African American History Month, yeah. oh, uh, that's good. Dr. Martin Luther King once talked about thingification, and that's what thingification. Thing thingification. Where, 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 what that is 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 where where you begin to view people. Uh, as things mm -hmm. and not as people mm -hmm. and we have to mm -hmm. kind of remember to come back to our humanization to our mm -hmm. human side mm -hmm. and remember that these are that's somebody's child or that's somebody's yeah. Yeah. parent yes. we, yeah. We, yeah. we are viewing people as things so even in social media where we can see a tragic accident where somebody is literally clinging on to life and instead of grabbing a tourniquet or, or grabbing a, a, a mm. bandage we grab, grab our phone. phones to record yeah. them because we view it as a thing not as a human being and we see that coming to pass that's right so now and that's scary yeah. wow that's you know we could stay on that for for a while you know because it's so real out here uh but there was something else that came down my feet that really uh -oh. stood out to me uh -oh. <laughs> and it was um this was pretty interesting. So now what they're doing is, um, you know, once, you know, you have your child. Now this is, we're switching subjects. And let's say, you know, there was a, a mother and she has her child. Now, and uh, I don't know, you probably, um, or one of you guys could probably help me a little bit better with this. I don't know exactly how it, ha how it works after you have the baby. How do you determine, like, does the doctor click the thing to determine that it's a boy, it's a girl? Or something, whatever happens, now there's a third opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a, thor, a third box to check. So the doctor s says yes, girl, yes, boy, or yes, X. Wait, what? Okay, does that, okay, let me see if I can explain it better. Because I've never, okay, for those who know, I've never actually, I've never had a child before. So I'm not exactly sure how it works when, once the baby's sex is determined, it's written on the birth certificate. That's probably what it is. So it's either male f or female, or now you have another choice to put X. See, now you're going to have me in trouble all over again. Oh, you I'm know, so dead serious. You know I'm, I'm, I'm all about this. It's this, real. We need the to talk about it. of young black men, and I'm so serious about this that I believe that this is a, a, a thing that is actually happening. It's, and yeah. I know I don't allow people to make me believe that I'm crazy or anything it's like that. It's not just men. This are, is for the boy they, or the girl. Yeah. But there, are, there is an agenda to, to, there's an agenda <laughs> we'll, we'll to, to blur the lines on gender. And, oh, yeah. No, I agree that, with that. There's an agenda I agree. to do that. Uh, on, on purpose and so you know but I, I i haven't heard about this one here but that's that's wild that's crazy so do you okay so tell me what you don't get so exactly. i god ain't the author of confusion so mm -hmm. i'm trying to figure out help me help me when the baby comes out yes 
With no clothes on. With no clothes on. No, we we the baby butt naked. Okay. <laughs> and the baby comes out. Yes. There's a question about the the sex, the sex or of the, the, ge the gender. The, the 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 yeah the gender is determined then when they say well it's probably determined before you right. know right. but when they mark it on the birth certificate yes the options now it's options <laughs> is male mm -hmm. female or X. And so how can, where does X come from? X comes from let the child determine. But the child sex. can't talk. Baby. I'm telling you, I understand that. I'm saying this is the world that we live in. Mm -hmm. What they're doing is making an X so the, that the, the, parent, the... So the parent is deciding. The parent is involved okay. in that part. And so... Oh. You see my face? <laughs> so then basically what the idea is that it allows the child as they grow the freedom to make the choice as to what sex they are. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> See, we need some, we all, we all think the same. We need some other people because, you know, it is a real, I mean, this is, this is insanity. You know what I mean? It's, it's so, so I know that it's the world that we live in, but it's nothing that you can tell me that can justify this foolery. It's Foolishness is foolery. I said it. Don't send the message to her. Send it to me. <laughs> That's Johanna Liddy Duckworth. Johanna D. Duckworth. <laughs> Foolishness. It's, it's a real situation. Here's the thing. Uh, Serena Campbell says messiness, honey, to the to the tenth degree. Here's the thing. And now, it the whole. I'm not even gonna say the concept, but just the whole trans sexual transgender movement is something you know that we, we have to kind of tiptoe around we just do because there are people who are, are living their lives you know in this fashion um you know they're committing suicide because you know of things so, that yeah go so, ahead. there's okay. lots of people committing suicide i, I, I to me I, I just lost a, a, a someone very near and dear to me just recently in the last few days uh to suicide and mm. so to hear you know, uh, as if one people or one group of people have cornered the market on on these uh, atrocities and things like that. You know, that's just malarkey, and uh, you know, to each his own. But you know, like I said, man, you know, I'm like at least let them be an adult, adult yeah. and so, make the, the decision and a choice. Like you know what I mean? Like so as a parent, child. and so I think that the parent is deciding for the child. Like I don't know what my child is going to grow up to be, right? And so I'm going to give them the opportunity to choose. That's yes. essentially yes. what yes. you're That's saying. That's what the ex. So is, even yeah. though I got a confused face, I'm not stupid. I understand. Yeah. But yeah. I'm saying that. It doesn't make any sense because when the child comes out of the room, and so and so this is this is the beauty of I believe this show. Okay, yeah. so we can give our perspective. Go right ahead. from the kingdom. Yeah, right. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah, yeah. I be, I don't believe that God makes mistakes. That's there right. is no mistakes in God. People and so, playing God right now. That's exactly what they're doing. Absolutely. And so when the child is born, it is at its most innocent and at its most pure state, right? It has not been contaminated by any thoughts or, or anything. So when the baby is born, hi, baby. <laughs> When the baby, baby is born, baby Jesus, huh? yeah. baby Jesus <laughs> when the baby is born, it when does not born, have an opinion. Jesus, huh? It is up to the the parents to train them up in the way that they should go, yeah. and when they get old, they will not depart from it. So, if so, if we're if we're talking to believers. If we're talking to believers and people who may be believers or or confused about where to to go on this side of it, um, there is no confusion because God doesn't make mistakes. And so if the baby is born with a sex, that's what the baby is. You giving the child the opportunity to check a box when they get grown does not change what God did or what he intended it to be in the beginning. And so I think that, you know, you're giving them an opportunity. That doesn't change the fact. The child, if the child was born a female with biologically, female, you know, biologically what I mean? with female parts, that will be what they, whether they cut them off, the parts off or not, that will be what they are until mm. the day they go return back to the dust. 
I feel offended as a woman half the time. You know, I, yeah. I don't know. That's a whole other thing. I don't yeah, I mean, and, and it is. Uh, but this definitely deserves its own its own segment. Yeah, show and yeah, everything. that because, might be that might be what because, we do. Because because when what, I, what I've noticed in this conversation, and I've asked God to give me wisdom and in, in, in dealing with this yeah, particular be topic because people take sound bites yes. and then they use yeah. the sound bite mm. towards their agenda. Yeah. So people yes. love to yeah. throw out the idea, yeah. oh you're you judge me. Yeah. And you're I'm homophobic. like you see yeah. nobody's I didn't judging judge you anybody. I didn't right. say but 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 the first word that will come out of somebody's mouth, even with you having like you don't have the right to an opinion. Yeah. You don't it's have the right opinion. to an yeah. idea. You don't have a right to a set of beliefs. Mm. When you share your set of beliefs that are contrary to their set of beliefs, you're gonna the first word you're gonna hear is you're judging me. And I got so much flack from that that tank video. It was unreal. Like I, I have never experienced that before where people were uh sharing this video that were not even following me. People that I was yeah. able to block were still able to share. And I was like, mm -hmm. how is that that you can even comment on my video mm -hmm. without following me? And I can't go on your page and comment because mm -hmm. I'm not following you. I didn't even understand that. And I understood at that moment that this was something going mm -hmm. on that was designed a lot bigger than what I was yeah. going on. And so I, I agree with that. And I do think that there is an element and I think that we should be, you know, we have to use, be wise mm -hmm. and, and watch some things that we say. Yeah. Um, but but yeah. at the same we'll time, the truth, but, you, know. you know, at the same time, I think that, you know, there, there are some people that are watching and perhaps they will never go to church, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. They will never walk foot in your church, Pastor Redante, my church, your, yeah. you know, whomever's church. And so, you know, some, the, the the Bible says that we shall know the truth and, and the, the truth, truth will make us what? Make us free. It will free. make us free. That's right. Um, and That's so right. sometimes it it fire is hot whether you believe it or not. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if there's some fire here, don't I have to tell my I mm -hmm. have to tell my children, don't do that because that will hurt you. Well then let me jump in here and tell you That's some so truth good. then. Okay, the Bible does not really talk about judging in the way that y'all talk about it like that. So we, that's a whole nother topic. We need Come to discuss finger. judgment. There go the finger. We need, we need to discuss <laughs> judgment. Is that judgment finger? Yeah, because, 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 because in, in 1 judgment. Corinthians 6 and 2, it says that the saints shall judge the world. And if you should judge Ooh. the world, are you not worthy to judge even the smallest of matters? And so uh, this whole idea, and I know that people got this Tupac mentality, only God can judge me. That's not true. You know, we don't have the right to condemn people, but we can judge. Boom. He said it. That's the word, and that settles it, and that's that. But I do want to say another thing that, you know, because I know it's a very sensitive subject, but I do, I did do notice that, you know, things like this, though, it opens doors mm -hmm. it for does. other things. So now, I mean, I'm sure you, you know, we already have the situation with the Rachel Donzel, do you guys know who that is? Mm -hmm. That is the person that is over, I want to say Wyoming, I, my, my facts may not be straight, the Wyoming NAACP. Mm -hmm. Turns out that this young woman was mm -hmm. actually Caucasian, okay. but she's living this as a black, good. yeah, she's living mm -hmm. as a black woman. So, she identifies with being black. You decide mm -hmm. that she's black. The same way that these, you know, there are people that are deciding that they are a different gender. So what's the difference? You see what I'm saying? What's so why do you want to condemn? Then let her decide. Okay, so that's opened another door. So now the other situation is there are, I've seen this is the craziest thing. I'm telling y'all, this is the craziest thing. Now there was, <laughs> you might have seen this too, I don't know. This is a grown man that identifies with being a child, but not just any child, a little girl child. <laughs> So he literally, it, but that's what he identified as. So it, it's some grown, it may want to cuss, some grown people that are well, literally Well, you know what? Raising. I identify as a millionaire. How about that? I, I identify am. as being a frog. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm still an African-American woman. Deal. You, like, you know what I mean? Like, that. that's where I'm saying you open these doors, mm -hmm. and I, I'm so with you. I, I cannot. Let me identify as being a millionaire. I yeah, mean, exactly. I am, so. You know, and so, yeah, and that's what you know. <laughs> But I guess where it gets to is this. This is, and then we can go to the next thing. Um, I guess it's the last thing because we're our, our hour is almost up. Um, is that? Oh, please don't let me lose my point. I think I lost it. Ah, uh, uh, oh, it left my head, y'all. 
Oh, what was I talking about? <laughs> Bring it back. The Jesus. young man. The, the man who no, not identified that crazy. as a child. The man who identified as a child. <laughs> oh, that's a, okay. I don't even wonder. Some of the stuff I wish I'd never seen. Like, it's just in my head. You would have seen this grown dude with these little pigtails. I was like, what? And let me just say, mental illness is real. Yes, Thank it is. It is. I mean, yes, you know, is. sometimes oh. we just need to call it in what it is. In our community, too, as well. It, it, is. it, it is. Absolutely I remember, is. I remember uh, Bishop Hines said a long time ago, he said, one out of five, People have a mental disorder, some slight, some severe. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget he said that. And um, after watching for, for the past, they said that over 15 years ago, one out of five people have a mental illness, some slight, some severe. And after, you know, studying that and seeing I have a degree in biblical studies and psychology, and I, that is true. People, people yeah. have Yeah, no, it's a real thing. I, and I thank you. My disorders. point came back. So the point is, or the issue or the concern that I was thinking about is that, you know, because obviously I do, I do know some uh, transgender people personally that have had the full surgery. And uh, one person in particular I'm thinking of is an amazing and phenomenal person, like, blows me away you know and you know and so I do I, I do feel kind of vexed and kind of torn between the two because this person is so such a beautiful person yeah and so and yeah. I don't think it's so much the person mm -hmm. right because it doesn't speak to necessarily the type of person I yeah. mean we're, we're not saying that they're they're evil or yeah. they're you know there's yeah there's something like they're malicious and that kind of thing but it's, it's a it's more of a um you know like a, a moral judgment mm -hmm. And I don't even want to use the word judgment. It's mm -hmm. just moral. It's a moral. moral thing. Mm -hmm. But I think the the thing is, though, I think where it starts to get ugly for people who may not believe like that is that it's like you're almost forced mm -hmm. to, um, to imagine, you know, play in this imaginary land and that where I'm going to call you something that you're, you're, you're not. And, and that, I know that's really touchy. I'm literally, I feel like I'm literally, you're forcing me to speak lies, you know? And I, I'm like, okay, you know, I don't want to have to, call. fine, if you want to, you know, be identified as a woman, then identify that. Why do I now have to call you that? That's it's, where it gets it's, tricky. It's mind-blowing. We, we, we are in a time where I grew up as a kid uh, right here in Milwaukee, and I remember when uh, Bruce Jenner won the Olympics. And, you know, <laughs> what was that? I had, we had a box of Dave Chappelle said he missed Bruce Jenner. We, we had we had a, a Wheaties <laughs> box with Bruce Jenner on the front. <laughs> Dave Chappelle said as the uh, Bruce Jenner. God. And to see you know where it's at now, that's mind blowing. And not that I have any judgment against it; it's just mind blowing. That's it right. is. I mean, so imagine having small children, mm -hmm. and you have to have the conversation with them. You're you're trying to teach them the elements of you know right and wrong, male and female. You know, mommy, that's a lady. You know, when you when they're trying <laughs> that's to a whole I, new conversation, yeah, right? That's a whole. And you gotta call thing. them her, she, or he, or whatever. And it's just like it just starts to get so confusing. yeah, it does. You know, it's too much. It's a lot. It's and too then, merch. Merch. M u r c h. Merch. You know, and I do want to say this though, but this this is our opinions and our views. But if you are transgender, or if you are transsexual, there are that is a difference. <laughs> you know, um, and if you have a different perspective, we're always open to hearing. You know, because that's the thing. I think people close off too much. Right, right. And I'm right, open right. to hearing. You know, you know what your heart and is. And having the conversation. And having maybe. the conversation. So let us know. You know, we're, we're, we bring you on the show. Absolutely. So I guess the last thing I'll kind of touch on, this is what I actually talked about uh, another a couple weeks ago, but I'll bring it back up just because it's still, I've been seeing more. And I, I, this is kind of segues because we're talking about, you know, your sexual identity. So this is also something sexual. And I really think that we there's so many sexual things that we could talk about only because our society is completely over-sexualized. And so now the biggest trend, and we talked about this, uh, I think it was a week ago on my uh, Top 5 You Doing Too Much moments, are these sex dolls. Ugh. Oh, wow. Like, it is blowing my mind how, like, this is a real thing. And it's scary for me that people are finding companionship in these inanimate objects. <laughs> and spending, I mean, and it'd be different if they sold and sell them one, two. They, they're selling thousands. Well, so it wouldn't matter if they were free, right? They didn't, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it's not, it's not cause, because, again, you know, you have to, you I can't think to it. it. You can't think to yeah. it, right? Like, it, it wouldn't matter if they're free, like. Uh, the Bible <laughs> talks about in, in 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 Romans chapter one. It talks about uh, in losing the natural affection. 
You know, Ooh. and, and so, um, you know, people don't understand. Somebody said it helped them stay safe. That's where I was like, I got to talk about what? it again. What? They said because it's not an actual, they was like, well, it's not like I'm actually having sex with an actual person. The, but here's the thing. When you, when you commit a sin, it happens first in your mind. Baby. It already happened, right? It already happened. And so I will say this, that when you hear people doing these you know, these outrageous things. That, and the Bible also talks about, you know, that they're, they're, when we get to the last days, you know, there's going to be stuff happening mm -hmm. where people are doing stuff that we couldn't even think about. Like, I can't even it's wrap even my mind sense. about I, it. I would be afraid coming home to this thing. Just well, and so down. here's the other thing. I think that we got a whole lot of people that do not know what their purpose is in life. Wow. When you don't know who God has called you to be. And you can't you know, know because know. your mama marked the X. I, Oops, sorry. Oops. Somebody don't see, get me. See, see, I see, see, you done brought it back. It's the truth. I'm sorry. I just, I don't know. Well, well you know what? You know what? Can, can, I, can I just chime Aww. in? Because I'm... I'm 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 not torn from this uh, with this topic because I really just to be honest to be 100 I really don't care my my wife is fine I love my wife <laughs> I don't, I really don't care it ain't worth a hill of beans to me one yeah. way or another well, I'm out here but they I married say, I'm out here in the I streets I would say this I would say this I would say this to my sisters like um, in practicality if 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 they were going to make those I I believe that. As hard as it is for me to say this, I wish that they would send those things to prison or something like that. Like, because, 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 because let's deal with reality. Like in reality, you have a lot of, um, uh, well, I, I know it happen, things are happening in uh, women's facilities as well. But oh, they have males off. Especially in the, in the, in the uh, men's facilities where men are taking advantage of each other, uh, yeah. all of that masculine energy and people who some who are not saved people who are not uh don't have a moral compass and so on and so forth and so uh you have people who are coming home that have been traumatized in different ways and i when when i heard about it i was like well hey that might have that might be a solution I agree with that there. because i'm t i just i really feel like any type of perversion yeah. is gonna well, change it's gonna warp. i mean either way it goes it's gonna warp something yeah, you know what I mean. mean? Something's it's, gonna be it's off. So if there's an alternative, if just hear me out, and, 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 and again, I'm, I'm, the people from prison, if y'all can see this show, they love right, right, Pastor Redante. Right. I'm right just now. being, I'm just being honest and practical here. Like I'm not saying that I'm, av I, I'm not getting up and advocating for this. I'm not going to preach about it. Or I don't, I don't, I'm not that invested in it. I don't got, care. Got it. But if they're going to make that kind of object, I would rather for them to send that there and see that happen in that kind of way, then see another man take advantage of another man, and then that man returns back to society. Allow conjugal visits. How about that? Well, maybe. But but if they're not going to do that, if <laughs> they're not going to do that. My just Well, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> so that, that would be, the clutch. That, that's the only, uh, the only use that I can see of those. Yeah. That's horrible. Y'all don't get mad at me though. Just... No, no, it's not no, mad. Because no. you know what? I'll say this last thing and then we'll we'll figure out we'll figure out a way to wrap it up. <laughs> no, because that's what I'm saying. You oh, we opened the door mm -hmm. and now yeah. here's another door. So mm -hmm. now another door. Right. here's another door. They and I'm not even talking about the prisoners no more. Mm -hmm. Pastor Don, they're gonna send y'all a few of these down. Y'all be happy. <laughs> All right. Charge it to his account and I'll save him six. <laughs> Wait. So <laughs> So this is where it gets twisted and morbid. Okay, so we got the Wait, idea. That wasn't twisted. No, oh, it was, but it okay. goes a step further. Oh I'm my. like, Lord, I'm so pleased. Keep my mind. Oh my, oh my. So they are now making dolls. Now there's different manufacturers, but there's now manufacturers making dolls. And now this is really isn't funny. That are uh, resemblance, re resemblance. So that how you said of children. And they are giving it to. They're making them specifically for pedophiles. With the goal that this would stop them, as your your thought is, stop them from going after children because they have a doll. I'm saying if that spirit is there, just, that spirit is there. I'm just saying it is. I mean, and shame on the manufacturers Ooh. for doing it. Shame on them for for even you know thinking that this is a market that they want to capitalize on. The scary part is that people are buying. Well, yeah, because they can buy it. It's something that somebody has that, thought how up. How you got $10 million or $10,000 to buy this doll? And I'm like, 
<laughs> can I get my car towed? Like I'm like, Lord, you know, you know, it's crazy. It, it, it's it's too insane. much time on their hands. Mm -hmm. Rehabilitated mind. Thingification. Yeah. Thingification. I mental mean, mental saying, illness. Mis all of it. It's all, all of it of together. Um, having a mind that needs to be regenerated. It's it's too it's too much. It really is. Ooh. It's too much. And it's the sad thing is that our you know our children, our young people are being exposed to this. Um, and they're growing up where you know soon soon it, it will be normal like we might it be in a, in a venue like this and somebody has a, a fake person doll <gasps> sitting next to them I mean it's insane we're just becoming given over completely to all things of the flesh and yeah. the flesh is Ooh, you know yeah. it's just taking advantage of, of all, all mankind because we are going slipping further and further down that that slippery slope um, that's what it seems like is happening in it our is. society. Yeah, because we're right in the we in the last and evil days. They always say that though. That's I, why know. I don't never say it. I be feeling like it, but I don't never say it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, I'll be my grandmother like it, but used I'll... to say that when I was a kid. Yeah, right. my whole life has been. But well, remember, day. the one day is like what to God? Like like. Yeah, like 10,000, so, yeah. you know. I'm just saying, I just don't say it, but I'll be thinking about it. Yeah, but, uh, okay, so before we wrap up, thank you guys for... Well, we thank God for the grace of this last yeah. day. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we thank God. Did you want to say something about the, the football player that had the little cutouts? What's his name? You know... Is that Colin Kaepernick? I don't, I don't know. know no, any no other. we have to save that for another show. Yeah, and so it's it's a branding thing and um and Did you image. See thing. At the end oh, back? I I just <laughs> like I was so mortified by it. It was horrible. Um, yeah, I don't but even it's know a, it's name. an interesting conversation. Yeah, it we'll would it would be time. an interesting conversation. Well, we we did it, y'all. We did. It. <laughs> I appreciate everybody for joining us. So you know, stay tuned uh, to you know, Saved in the City. So make sure you like us on on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, and we'll keep you updated with all the things that are coming up. We do, and we, we do want to, and we will be doing a new season release party. I will not. I don't have the date just yet, but I'm going to give it to you. It'll be coming up soon, so you can meet the co-hosts in person. We can kind of hang out, and maybe we can even just. Do do a live kind of talk show on the scene, you know, and get some feedback, live audience feedback yeah, right there. I think that'd be amazing. So thanks for hanging with us. If you have any top five, you doing too much moments, just inbox me and we'll be sure to talk about it here. Just so you know, too, as we move forward with the Saved in the City show, um, the first hour will always be uh, Pastor Redante, PR, and Johanna, Lady Duckworth. <laughs> <laughs> and I will be kind of talking about the hot topics, but that's not going to take away our Milwaukee treasure, so that will definitely be back in full effect. And then also our Won't We Do It Wednesdays, because mm. Won't We Do It. Won't we do it. Yes. Won't we do it. yes, and we'll, yes, we we'll be bringing back people to share their testimonies of, of when God showed up in an amazing way. Yes. And so there's all there's so many things, and, and hopefully soon, Johanna's going to be talking about some fashion with y'all. Yes. So we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do it. I'm going to let her style me up, and I'm going to pay her fee. What I'm you going to talk about? i for free. I'm going to style me up. Yes. I'm going to pay her fee, and I, I'm going to get the anointing for free. Yes, yeah. yes. And Pastor okay. Dante has anointed for so many different things. And I think, but especially, he definitely has a heart for the, for the men. You know yeah. what I mean? So, That's you know, that we'll have all kinds of things that will address everybody yeah. um, from everything. You know, we have kingdom solutions for real world issues. Mm -hmm. You know, we may not always have the right answers, but God is definitely in the midst. So, you know the one with the answers. Yeah, exactly. Right. So, you know, Pastor Redante, I think this would be fitting. You know, um, we, we talked about praying for the people. Yeah. You know, so maybe before we go, we just end in a quick prayer. Thanks for joining us. And Pastor Redante, would you, would you lead us? Absolutely. Uh, let's just go to the Lord in prayer. Father God, we just bless you. We thank you right now, Father. We honor you. We give you praise right now, Father. We lift you up, Father. We thank you for choosing us to be your people. We thank you for allowing us for, for allowing us to be in your presence. And we choose you this day yes, as our God, Father. Even right now today, somebody may be watching this. And they may not even know your son, Jesus, and the partner yeah, that sins. Father, yeah. we ask now that you would enter wherever they are, their car, their their, their classroom, their, their workplace, Father, and show them that they are loved by you. If there's somebody watching right now that does not know you, Father, give them the strength to confess their sins and confess your son, Jesus, and the partner their sins right now in the name of Jesus. God, we ask that you touch your people from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet until we meet again in your daughter, son, Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We love you guys and we'll see you or at some point next week. <laughs>